Good evening, good evening, Berenice. Good evening, uh, Juan. How's everything? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, hello. Good evening. Okay. So it's it's uh, eight o'clock, right? So people are going to start getting into the class. It's good to see you again. So today is uh, a, a really nice opportunity to continue practicing our second language, right? Fernando, how was your day today? How was everything at work? I'm fine. <laughs> Everything was all right. Good. What about yes. you? It's what about a very difficult day? I today was a very bit difficult day. So, but that's good. Yes, that is good. You know, because when things get um difficult, we tend to to get stronger. Yes. Yeah, yes. that's right. So, for me, I think there are no bad days, but there are some days. Uh, which have like different um, challenges. Okay. Yeah, that's what I think, right? And uh, hello, Berenice. Can you listen to me? Yes, teacher. Uh, how was your day? Yeah, a little complicated, but. A little that's complicated. True. Yeah. <laughs> Same story as Fernanda. I don't know, but. But when we become adult people, like things tend to be like complicated all the time, right? It's better <laughs> when we were children. It was better when we were children. Is that right? Yeah. <laughs> children don't know. They they know nothing but but games. And that is yeah. the most beautiful part of our life, I think. Yeah. But fortunately, we are over here and uh, we are in church of learning a second language. That is something that somehow help us to get concentrated in, in a specific topic, right? And in this case, a specific skill that is to learn how to speak, how to listen to, how to write down, how to um, read English. Hello, Daniel. Hello, Greeny. How was, how was your day, Daniel? I know, I know, it was complicated, a little complicated. No, no. My Not day really. Was, was wow. <laughs> they said, congrats. It was not complicated because everybody over here was like complaining, like saying, hey, you know, teacher, today was kind of complicated. That, that's the expression. Esa es la expresión que está de, de, de moda ahorita. Kind of complicated. complicated. <laughs> <laughs> it was kind of complicated. <laughs> okay. Now I, I'm really happy to see you here. Okay. Ronan, hello. Hello, hello, Ronan, are you there? No technical problems, people. I can see Norma. I can see Gladys, but at least will be a listener tonight. I, I can see Merlin. Hello, Good Merlin. Good evening, teacher Good evening. and Mer classmates. Hello, how was your day, Merlin? Mm, today was a very Fuzzy date. Uh, complicated also. <laughs> a little fuzzy. Oh, yeah, a little busy, not complicated. Uh. <laughs> okay. Well, we welcome people because tonight we have a lot of work to do as always. Okay. But hey, I hope that you are just putting into practice not only English, but my pieces of advice. Because, you know, uh, I have been studying English for about like 20 or 25 years. I, I don't remember exactly when I started with, but I, I know, I know where you are and I know where um, the program wants you to get. Okay, tengo, tengo un poquito, tengo bastante tiempo sí, de estar este, practicando inglés, estar estudiándolo. Hay unas yo, yo me encanta decir esto porque yo como estudiante sé lo, lo lindo que se siente cuando ya uno empieza a, a avanzar eh, 
a llegar a niveles como intermedio. Hay un nivel que se llama Upper Intermediate, que es ya llegando a lo avanzado. Ok, y ahí a uno empieza como a sentirle otro, otro sabor, como decimos, a, a esto. Ya luego viene el avanzado y vienen otros, otros tipos de, de enseñanza, porque en realidad esto no se termina. Gracias a Dios que no se termina, ¿verdad? E inclusive eh, nos anima ya cuando uno aprende un poquito más, avanza un poquito más en el idioma, ya le está le ¿Y qué tal si le entramos al alemán? Dice, dice uno, ¿y qué tal si le entramos a, al francés? Pero no solo en la mañana, sino que ya hablarlo, ¿verdad? <risa> hablarlo un poquito, pues. Entonces, es algo grandioso, la verdad. Uno descubre que la mente es es infinita, que tenemos la capacidad de aprender muchísimo. Ok, um, well, I have two people with checklist attendance and we're going to get down to business. You came here to see something new. So something new is coming, right? I will checklist attendance, then I have a couple of links to go over, and uh, we're going to see the PDF, and um, we're going to work in the platform, because, you know, tomorrow, um, as far as I remember, it's going to be our last class, okay, today is, uh, yeah, today is the session number 19, so tomorrow will be session 20, and we're going to be done. And um, uh, fortunately, I I have seen the advance advancement in um, in some skills that you have been like improving. Yo gracias a Dios he visto avances en ustedes y este especialmente en aquellos que que siempre se atreven a, a estar participando. Eso como que ayuda un poquito más, ¿verdad? A que los, el, aprendiz, el aprendizaje se asiente mejor. Ok, Irán. <coughs> Sorry. Belén. Present teacher. Ok. Daniel. Present teacher. Edgar. Gladys. Jonathan. José Daniel. Present teacher. Ok, José Daniel. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. Good. María Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Present teacher. Ok. Merlin. I know Present Merlin teacher. Ok. Michael. I'm here, teacher. Good, Michael. Good to know you are here now. <clears throat> uh, Aníbal. Xiomara. Present, teacher. Excellent. Ronan. Teresa. Vera Liz. She's a listener. I saw her in the class. Jansi. Present teacher. Good. Okay, now I can see that. Uh, let me see. Oops. Okay, remember to work in the activity for week number four, week number three, and week number four. I can see um, Ronan is over here, Edgar over here. I can see, I'm, I'm just checking the, the chat. Gladys, Ronan, and Veralis. Okay, welcome everybody. I have 14, 13 people connected and that's, that's better. Uh, I don't know, are you gonna surprise the group with something that you have learned lately? 
But nos van a, sor van a sorprender el grupo con algo nuevo que hayan aprendido en inglés. ¿Alguien que necesite el espacio? At one, at two, and at three. Okay, so, well, whenever you have, you, you need to uh, share something that you consider it's a very, very important, or like to let us know about the advancement that you are just experiencing in, when learning a second language, just let me know it, and then you're going to be giving your time. Well, we're going to start. As always, we're going to follow the sequence uh, that I think it's been very, I think we have just uh, gotten a, a path to learn um, effectively, which is quite important. That was the word, effectively. Okay, so yesterday we, we talked about how to use the imperatives, and we were like talking about uh, how to keep the direction. We have been talking about uh, the use of be going to, and also about uh, hotel services and amenities, right? So it's been a quiet, significant, but right now we're gonna see, or we're gonna have some review about, about the topic we started yesterday. These verbs, Okay, it says, use the following verse in order to make imperative sentences. That's simple, very simple. And we have a clean, help, call, close, give. Now, shoes. Clean your shoes. Clean, clean, clean your good. shoes. Okay, let's see. Clean, oops. Clean your shoes. Okay, now we are gonna think a, a little bit about about the importance of cleaning the shoes. What do you think about about a person who doesn't clean his or her shoes? Uh, is it, do you think it's a a responsible person. Well, what do you think when you see someone who doesn't clean his or her shoes? Think about it because we're going to get back. I know I'm asking you to think about, about the situation. Think about it, okay? Today is her birthday. Her place. Color, please. Color, please. Call her, please. Call her, please. Call her, please. The next one we have here, my phone number. Her, give. my son. Ah, okay. So give her, give, give her, give her. Uh, give. Let me see. Oh, let me see. Give okay. her my phone number. Okay. Good. Number four. It's call outside the window, please. Close the window. Close the window. It's called outside. Close the window, please. Close. Close the window, please. Number five. Here in the kitchen. Here in the kitchen. Help. Okay. Help her. In the kitchen. 
Okay, simple like that, right? So this is not this is not complicated, very simple grammar, but it's important. Let me see. Oh, we were in church only to type the, the, the verb, right? So clean your shoes, all right? Call her, please. Give her my phone. A close the window. Help her in the kitchen. So this this is this is this was very simple, right? I I don't I don't know, but if if you have problems or if you have some doubts, just let me know it. Okay. Just let me know it, and we can just go over it again. But as far as I can, I could notice we do not have problems with it. Okay. Well, we're gonna try to start with our topic. As you could see, going in is the topic for tonight. Okay. But in order to get familiarized with the topic, we have some conversations and we're gonna see like different options to complete the conversation according to what we listen to. Okay. Now there's a conversation that starts with the expression, excuse me. Uh -huh. How, what did you listen to the second one? No what listen. No, uh, sorry. You didn't listen. No. Let me see if I. Oh yeah, that was my mistake. I will share it once again. I'm sorry. <clears throat> you are gonna listen to the expression, right? But there's gonna be an expression that you are gonna listen to, and you have like different options. So according to what you listen to, then you will tell me. You will read and you will tell me what's the option, the correct option. Okay. Uh, let us try one again. Here we go. Sure. Go ahead on this street. Give me a second, please. Excuse me. How can I get to the tourist information? Uh -huh. What did you say? How Excuse can I get? Me? Uh -huh. How can I get? The tourist information. Tourist information. Second, second. How can I get to the tourist information? That's the one, right? So listen once again. Excuse me. How can I get to the tourist information? Sure. Go ahead on this street. Cross Takuba Street and turn left. The tourist information is next to the library. All right. Very good. Now, where's the person doing? Giving directions. Okay. What is the expression that we are using? How can I get? Get. All right, because we have like those, uh, this verb, we're in church of uh, practicing this verb tonight. Okay, pretty good. Sure, and you got it. Okay, that, that's the one. Second, conversation number two. The person says, good morning, and then you will tell me what's the second part. Good morning. What is the city hall? Uh -huh. What did you say? What is the city hall? What is the city hall? Uh -huh. Once again, pay attention. Good morning. What is the city hall? Uh huh. What is the city hall? What? Are you sure the, the question is what? Good where morning. is where where the city is hall? It? Where? Where is the city is? hall? This one? Yes. Yes. Good morning. Where's the Where's the city hall? The city hall. Listen. The city hall. Oh, yes. Go straight ahead this way. Go past the school, and it's on the other corner, behind the cafe. It's behind the cafe. Hey, now, go is the expression that we are just in church of studying tonight. Get and go, right? So that's why I like this exercise. Let's see the number three. Here we go. You are going to tell me. Sorry. Sorry. How do I get to the music school? Uh huh. How can I get the music school? Once again, okay, Michael, I think you got it. Sorry, how do I get to the music school? Now, Michael? How can I get to the music school? 
Uh, okay, the question is correct, but is 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 can the the the, the model bear he used or is the, it's another one? Sorry, how do I get to the music school? Uh huh. How do can uh, I get? How do right? How do I get to the music school? Let's see. Where's the city hall? How can I get to the tourist information or how do I get to the music school? How do I get to the music? Is it near here? Listen to the rent. Is it near here? Oh, it's very close. Walk along Palma Street. At the second block, turn left. It's on the corner next to the arcade. It's next to the arcade. Now we're going to check and we're going to see. Wow. So your listening is working well. Okay. How can I get to the tourist information? Where is the city hall? How do I get to the music school? Is it near here? And that's it. Now we're gonna see some explanation. As you can see, when we want to ask for the directions of a place, we use some specific questions. These questions are number one, how can I get go? Hey, how can I get to? Okay, remember oh. it's a question, right? It is a question. So you need to make emphasis in the intonation of, of the question, right? Hey, how can I get to the hospital? How can I get to the school? How can I get to the park? Okay. How to how can I get to the arcade? How can we get to the museum? How can I get to the bus station? Now the next one. Where is? Where is the cafe? Where is the cafe? Uh huh. What is the tourist information office? Where is the tourist information office? What is where the subway is... station? Hey, where is the bus? Uh, where is the subway station? How do I get? How, how do I get to? I get to. How do I how get, do to, I get to the comic store? How do I get to the comic store? How do I get to the fashion, mall? Get to the fashion mall? How do I get to the fashion mall? How do I get to the coffee shop? How do I get to the coffee shop? Good. Now we saw the, the explanation, we saw some exercises with it. Now I think we have an extra one over here, right? Sorry, I'm trying to buy newspaper, uh, the newspaper. Sorry, I'm trying to buy the newspaper. How do I get to the newsstand? Uh -huh. What did the person say? Can you type it in the chat? Listen once again. Sorry, I'm trying to buy the newspaper. How do I get to the newsstand? Uh huh. What is the question? Can you type it, please? How do I get to the newspaper? Mm, not really. Listen, listen, listen carefully. Sorry, I'm trying to buy the newspaper. How do I get to the newsstand? Uh huh. Can you type this the sentence, please? How do I get? One more, okay, one Merlin more say. Okay, Merlin started work with how do I get? Okay, okay. How do I get to? Aha, uh -huh. so maybe you have you, you don't know the, the expression or the word. Listen. Sorry, I'm trying to buy the newspaper. How do I get to the newsstand? How do I get to the I know Houston. Newsstand. Newsstand. To the newsstand. Okay. And a question mark. Mm -hmm. It's at the corner. Listen. It's at the corner of Escobedo Street and Palma Avenue. 
in front of the theater. Thanks. Thanks. Okay, how do I get to the Newston? Okay, well, actually, we got it, right? Very good, Merlin. That's the way it is. That's the way it is. Okay, so I think we we already finished with this exercise. And, uh, well, now we got familiarized with the topic. That was my purpose, right? So as you can see in the PDF, in the PDF, sorry. we have. Sorry, sorry? teacher. Sorry? Uh, you can share in the, the link. The green one, this one? Yes. Yeah. What, what, what do you want? Do you see the information? This uh, one. Link, link, uh, ah, okay. You, you, you want to see the. Okay. Of course. Por supuesto que sí. So you Thank will you. get it. Okay, thank you for remembering and need to me. Ahí tienen el enlace, okay? Thank you, teacher. Good. Now, uh, well, this is a PDF, right? So we have like, uh, we are supposed to be in church of finding certain words in here, but especially it refers to 10 means of transportation from the box in the word search. Now, can you can you check it? We have, for example, train, car, plane, motorcycle, subway, truck, helicopter, taxi, bicycle, ship. Now, question, question, a uh, question, people. How do you get to work? How do you get? How do you get to work? By train? By train? You're gonna use this expression. It says by. You're gonna use the by expression. Now, listen to me. How do you get a word? By train, by car, by plane, by motorcycle, by subway, subway. by truck, by subway? You take the subway in El Salvador? Ah, I didn't know we have the subway here. No. Who, ta who takes the subway here? No, teacher. Y en todo el subterráneo, ¿quién fue que nos contestó acá? I know. Bye, car. And y dígame, bye, porque yo me quiero subir también. <laughs> by train, by car, by plane, by motorcycle, by subway, by truck, by helicopter, by taxi, by bicycle, by ship. How do you get a word? By car. By car. By car. By car. Uh -huh. What about the rest? How do you get a word? You say, I get a word by car. I I ride my bicycle. I, I take a taxi. I take a helicopter. <laughs> I, uh, I take the subway. Somebody here that, does it, right? Okay, so these are means of reportage. Can you, can you check here some that you can see? Can you see some? Do the favor to get it, please. Voy a, voy a, voy a, voy a encontrar uno y de ustedes encuentran los demás. Okay. Let me see. Ah, sí, también cerquita. Okay. Todos, todos están cerquita. Vamos a agarrar el que a mí me gusta. Que con este me gustaría bien. A mí el trabajo. <laughs> ok. Okay. Bueno, eh, encuentren las demás, por favor, son 10. Helicopter. Ah, ok. Señal, señalícenlo por ahí, por favor. Ustedes <ríe> pueden interactuar con la pantalla también. Uy. Give me a second, please. Give me a second, give me a second. Okay, helicopter. Well, give me a second. I will do it again, so give me a second. Okay, this is my helicopter. So now choose the other ones. Find the other one. So that's my helicopter. What what else did you get? Car. 
Ah, okay, very good. Now there is somebody there, line. Motorcycle. Chip. 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 Daniel, yeah. very good. So you see, Daniel is drawing Rhyme. lines, and that's better, right? So that is train, right? That's train, it. motorcycle, helicopter, taxi. That's very good, Aidan. We got it, taxi. What else? Truck. What, what is that? What is that? LC? LCC? Truck. No. Ah, truck. 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 No, but uh, I, I, I wonder about this one. What's going on with this one? Bicycle. Ah, yeah, yeah, I got it. I saw it. <laughs> it's a bicycle, right? Very good. Now we got like two, four, five, six. I will have a plane. Good. Plane. What else do you see there? In the last row, a bus. Okay. Thank you, Merlin. Excellent. So we got a lot there. Like we have car. Good. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think we got them all, right? Because we are in church of looking for thing only. Ya no busque, voy a ver que está encontrando otro. Okay. Now, pretty good. So we got them, right? Now, uh, the conversation that we have here, hey, how can I get to the airport? How can I get to the airport? Well, the airport is very far away. You can go by taxi or you can drive. Go. How can I get? How can I? You can go. Thanks. Oh, I'm going to drive, but I need to rent a car. Is there a car rental me here? Sure. Mm -hmm. It's two blocks down the street. You can go there by foot. You know, by foot, right? Thanks a lot. You know by foot, right? How do you say by foot in, in Spanish? A pie. Okay, very good. So, you go by to specify the means of transportation you use from point A to point B. Example, go by bus, go by car, Go by plane, by foot, by bicycle, etc. Okay. So we're gonna we're gonna well you know that you need a word here, right? So you need to finish the but we're gonna get back because I have some some other links links here that I consider are also important. Okay, now Pay special attention to this conversation. What are we trying to do? Well, we are gonna we're, we're trying to see different, I mean, contexts and different conversations to see the way people use get and go, get and go. Let's see if we get, uh, we get some expression that we have just learned. Si encuentran una expresión que que hemos eh, 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 aprendido en estos últimos minutos, entonces identifíquenlo. Por ejemplo, miren, by car, by train, eh, by airplane, etc. Right? So let us see. We're going to try to identify some expressions we have been studying lately. So I will share the link. I know that you love to get the links we use in the class. So we'll do it now. So you can see the info directly. Or you can use it to have like, to have like extra practice on how to pronounce certain words. Now, Simon, 
we have a conversation between Simon and his friend. Okay, Simon and his friend. Now, listen carefully because later you are going to help me to read. Fíjense, por favor, en cada palabra, cada pronunciación importa, pero luego me van a ayudar a leer algunas cosas. No todo porque la conversación es un poquito larga. Okay, here we go. Uh, like many people, um, I like to travel, and there's many ways you can travel, uh, many forms of transportation. Probably the the main three that I want to talk about now are by car, by train, and by airplane. Now, each of these forms of transportation have uh, their pros and cons. Uh, would you agree? Indeed, I would. So, what's your favorite form of transportation, of those three? I would have to say the automobile. Um, well, tell me some of the, the pros of traveling by car. That would be mainly freedom. Freedom of movement, freedom to stop, freedom to go, freedom to... Yeah, freedom, basically. Okay, uh, what about... Uh, a train. What are the advantages of on, being on a train? Uh, I would say good views of the countryside. Uh, you can move around on the train. You're not stuck in a stuck in a car. You can uh, go for a cigarette. You can get something to drink. You can go to the bathroom, which you cannot do in a car. Okay. And let's talk about uh, the air the airplane. Why is what are some of the advantages of flying? speed that's it that's all I can say about that yeah speed okay uh, let's talk about the disadvantages or the cons so what 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 are some things that a train has that is not that great uh, there's nothing I can say bad about a train except yeah trains good okay um, price. yeah uh, price and uh, many countries train travel is very expensive um, we are traveling in Japan, so uh, the, the train is very fast and efficient. Uh, however, it is expensive. Uh, another thing is that uh, you can find by schedule uh, and things like that. How about the disadvantages of a car? Uh, pollution, um, accidents, cost. Yeah, cars can be expensive too. Maintenance. Gas. And how about the plane? Disadvantages of a plane, uh, lack of view, and uh, yeah, that stale, stale air. Yeah, yeah. Uh, also, I could say the sort of fear factor, yeah, and being confined to a small space. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's it, right? So, how was the conversation? <clears throat> interesting. I think it was interesting. What about you? What What do you think about it? The, do you think we can learn a lot from this conversation? Yes or no? Now, can somebody help me to read here? Like many people, I like to travel, and there are many ways you can travel, or oh, many forms of transportation. Probably the main three that I want to talk about now are by car, by train, and by airplane. Now each of these forms of transportation have three pros and cons. Could you agree? Okay. Question, what are pros and what are cons? Pros and cons. Look in the internet, please. If you don't know about the expression, pros and cons. Pros and cons. Okay, so that's Spanish, good. Okay. Let's see. Now can somebody else help me? Or Daniel, in case you want to continue. Indeed, I would. Indeed, I would. What's the meaning of the word indeed? Indeed, in effect, I would. I would. All right, very good. So, what about this part? 
So what's your favorite form of transportation or these three? Good. I would have to say the automobile. Uh, automobile? Automobile. Yeah. Mm. Automobile. Automobile. Um, well, tell me some of the, the pros of traveling by car. Good. That would be mainly freedom, freedom of movement, freedom of stop, freedom to go, freedom to, yeah, freedom basically. Good. Movement. Movement. Good. Simon says. Okay, uh, what about a train? What are the advantage of being of a train? Okay, now listen once again. Advantages of being? Advantages of being. Advantages of being of a train. Good. Uh, I would say good views of the countryside. You can move around on a train. You're okay. not stuck in a car. You can go for a cigarette. You can get uh, something to drink. You can go to the bathroom, which you cannot do in a car. Okay. Yeah. Well, as you can see, it's because, you know, we are missing a lot of info and we need to take uh, advantage, of, advantage of time. So we're gonna start working as soon as possible. You know, what is the conversation all about? It talks about advantages and disadvantages. When you see when you see the expression pros and cons, the, the best meaning is pros and cons. What's the meaning of pros and cons? Can you read the meaning? Pros and cons. Is another way to say positives or negatives. Ne positives and negatives. No, it's the following. Before you make a decision, you need to think about the pros and cons. There are more pros than cons in my new job. Freedom. What's freedom? What's freedom? The pros of traveling by car will be mainly freedom. Mainly freedom. When you have freedom, when you have freedom, what happens? You know freedom, right? Yeah. You can do you whatever, can do whatever what? you want. Whenever you want to do it and notice the following. This is uh, his first year living alone and he is enjoying his freedom. Having your own company gives you a lot of freedom. Stuck. Meaning? Can you read the info about uh, getting stuck? You can move around, move around. on a, a train. Where is where else? you're stuck in a car? Where is you're stuck in a where, car? When you are stuck where you, someplace, you can move to where you want to go. Notice the following. I hate being stuck in the house. And we have been stuck in this meeting for an, almost two hours. Confined meaning. When you travel by train, you are confined by schedule. When you travel by plane, you are confined to a small space. If you're confined to something, you are restricted by its uh, limitations. Notice the following. The door is confined to those two rooms. My legs hurt from being confined to this uh, chair all day. Still air. The disadvantages of the plane is the lack of view and that stale air. Stale air does not feel fresh. 
It feels like it has recirculated many times. Notice the following. Stay air makes the makes it feel like I can't breathe. We should open a window because this room is full of stale air. Now you got it? Stale air. What is it? Stale air. What does it mean? Stale air. Did you get it? Stay air. Hello, hello. Are you looking aire, for that? Aire, aire reciclado. <laughs> ah, okay. Stay air, right? For every decision that we make, we spend hours discussing what? The pros and cons. Good, the pros, pros and cons. cons. Pros and cons. Living with his mother made him feel like he had no... Broad freedom star confined to steel. Uh -huh. no, Li living with his mother made him feel like he had no. No what? Freedom. Freedom, right? Freedom. Freedom. <laughs> My job killed keeps me behind the desk all day. Confined. 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 Behind the desk all day. My dogs have been aha. Uh -huh. Be careful. Huh? No, it's, it's stuck. 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 Because Stuck. of the air, ah, uh, because because of the tail, right? The air. Uh, let's see. We're gonna check. How many did we get? Three out of five. Good. <laughs> Hey, what was the problem here? So, the problem, pros and cons, not confined. Here is the problem. What's the problem? My job keeps me behind a desk all day. My dogs have been confined or stuck? Stuck. Stuck. No, because stuck behind a desk. Atrapado o atascado. Ah, atrás oh, de oh, okay. So this one belongs to, the, to, to belongs here. And what about yeah. the example with the with the with the animals with the with the dogs? Is that the expression confined? So we got three once again. So, but there's a problem here. We cannot see. It. We're gonna we're gonna try to. To see the answers. Do not work on it again, but we're gonna see the answer. Mm. No, we cannot see it. No, we cannot see the answer. 
but don't, but we are where right right so the problem was over here when we say my job keeps me stuck my dogs have been confined okay so yeah, confined too yeah okay so this is the example now let me see there is i think there is a, a part that's about um well, I'm looking for some grammar, but before going to the grammar, we're going to see this as quickly as possible. What is Simon's favorite form of transportation? Automobile, train, or airplane? Automobile. Automobile? What is mission as an advantage of trains? You can stretch your legs, uh, they are safe, or you can get something to drink. You can get something to drink. Or you can get something to drink. Number three, one bad thing about trains can be that some trains are overcrowded, you know, overcrowded, right? The price can be expensive or that there are many smokers. Oh. One bad thing about trains can be some trains are overcrowding. The price can be expensive or there are many smokers. What would be like the disadvantage? There are many smokers. There are many smokers, so that may be a problem. One disadvantage of the car mission was high insurance costs, traffic jumps, pollution. 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 Simon doesn't like flying because the small seat. Yes. The small seats. That's it. The fear factor. The fear factor. Pollution. The price can be expensive. You can get something to drink. Automobile. And that's it. But this is vocabulary, right? So I think we are already finishing. We're going to try to... Uh, think a little bit, okay? Because we need to think a little bit in English. Okay. Now, we're going to uh, try to compare, right? Or to, to create a, a mini presentation about the advantages and disadvantages of, of uh, driving a car. What would be better, public transportation or having your own car? ¿Qué sucedería si todos tuviésemos solo eh, como la obligación de, baja, de viajar en transporte público? ¿Cómo nos beneficiaría o como nos perjudicaría. The same with the car, right? Que si todos tuviésemos un vehículo, todos, absolutamente todos. En una familia hay cinco miembros y los cinco miembros tienen cinco vehículos, perdón, este un vehículo por persona. Eh, ¿Qué sucedería con eso? ¿Tenemos ventajas o desventajas? Bueno, eso es lo que ustedes ustedes nos van a nos van a explicar, ¿ok? Van a hacer una pequeña Descripción de uh, las ventajas y las desventajas que tenemos respecto al, al transporte que utilizamos a diario. Ok, o sea, este transporte público o privado. Ok, how much time do you have in order to get some, some info? Well, you're going to have like, mm, like seven minutes, seven or ten minutes. 
de 7 a 10 minutos, ¿ok? Yo les, yo les voy a avisar. Quiero que trabajen en eso, por favor, 7 a 10 minutos con su presentación. Ventajas y desventajas del transporte, ya sea público o privado o propio. 7 minutos, people. Okay, what is the purpose of the activity that you put into practice your speaking? Besides that, you are in charge of looking for new words and to practice pronunciation. Seven minutes. Four minutes, be ready, be ready.
two minutes, then we're going to start. Remember about telling the advantages, disadvantages of um, traveling in a public or uh, having our own transportation. Okay, so time is over. We're gonna start. Let me see. Uh, so when I mention your name, the minute you're able to participate, Adam. No teacher, one moment, please. Okay, okay. So we're gonna wait. Fernando? Okay, sir. Yeah, are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, let us know about what you think. Okay, the public transportation on the bus and abundance is uh, cheaper for your pocket. We pollute the environment and disadvantages is we call delayed to we are going. We depend a lot on the transportation time, uh, not comfortable, and the car. Uh, advantage is we call manage or the parent time is more comfortable. This uh, advantage, we pull up the environment more will be more expensive for your pocket. That's all, teacher. Good. Now, if, if, it, if it is difficult for you to say advantages. Advantages, yes. The, disadvantages. <laughs> disadvantages? Yeah, yeah advantages. like pros and okay. cons. Advantages, disadvantages. Okay. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Now, now yes, right, Aiden? I don't know if you're ready now. Okay. 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 Here we go. Advantage and this advantage of private, 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 no, private transports. Advantage. Save time and not depends on other people for transportation, comfort, and privacy. It's good when it rained. Freedom to travel to other cities without dependence on schedule. Carry several people. Choose your own route. This 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 vintage. Find on pay for per parking. Is depreciated quickly. Is pollutes and creates traffic. In general, all vehicle expenses. Initial cost, fuel, maintenance, sure, tire, etc. All right. Pretty good. Advantages, disadvantages. Okay, practice those for the pros and cons. Then we have uh, Daniel wants to participate. Jose Daniel. And advantages of private transportation. 
AC of uh, mobilis, mobilization, comfort, safe transport, transport, protect from the water, disadvantages of private transportation, traffic, parking problem, and gasoline con, con, consumption. Consum, eh, eh, como costo eh, consumo, no sé cómo se pronuncia esta palabra. Consumption. Consumption of uh, fuel, right? Okay. Sí, sería gasoline cost consumption. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Let me see if there's somebody over here. Yeah, consumption, right? That's the word. Consumption. Okay, thank you very much. Anibal, do you want to participate? Yes, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, advantages uh, or ha of having your own tra transport, we would avoid being late for, for work. Something could happen to use uh, or lose uh, our belongings and disadvantages that it is a good expense to have your, your own be, be hack, be <laughs> vehicle <laughs> because everything is expensive. All right, so because everything is, is expensive. Now, vehicle. Because. Vehicle, because. I mean, vehicle, 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 vehicle. Ah, vehicle, vehicle. Yeah. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. So let's see. Aiden already partied. Veronice. Yeah, well, it is for me, yeah. The disadvantage of having the many means of transportation at home is the first pollution and basically overload, and this prevents you from moving as monthly. Well, and I think there another disadvantage of the public transportation that you mentioned to above, uh, we have the contact with many people. And well, I think that is the fears also influence the health area. And this is slower saying that it was a stop to make, which is slow time, and I get to get home. All right. Pretty good. <laughs> but uh, somebody mentioned something about the expenses also, right? Because if you have your own car, you have to take it to the mechanic regularly. You need to buy the wheels. You need to um, pay attention on the fuel, etc. Right? So, but it's, it's I think it's more comfortable, right? Then uh, probably in public transportation. Thank you, Berenice. Okay. I don't know if, if, if somebody else wants to participate. Me, the chair. Okay, Michael. Uh, this uh, advantage is low cost, minimal environment impact, and allow container traffic. And this advantage is. Uh, there are many tips in the bus. I cannot take an alternate route. And the document must be in order. And that's it. Okay, so my alternatives, right? Alternative. Thank you, Michael. Let me see. Anybody else? Volunteers, right? I'm asking for volunteers now. People who want to participate. Hi, teacher. 
Thank you, Merlin. Mm. Uh, some pros and cons of private and public transport are fears. Um, if many people travel by public transport, uh, uh, less profit. Uh, and count uh, more chains of Gary Sick. Um, second, pros and cons. Um, pros, uh, there are less carbon dioxide pollution. And cons, it's low process because restore climate is stable is stability um and three pros and cons uh, pros it's economy uh, public transport and cons uh, but uh, and cons it is uncomfortable comfortable only that teacher. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hear what you said. Okay. Sorry, but uh, there there was somebody over here like knocking the door. And I, I, I cannot help them just right now. Thank you very much. Now listen carefully. I don't know if there is anybody else or we just move to another part of the class. No one else? Okay. Okay, so listen, I will share once again what I have here. Okay, so there are some words that you that you adjust in your presentation, like automobile. We talked about the price. We you also mentioned something related to pollution, etc. Right. So we are connected with the activities over here. So what is the topic for tonight? Get or go. Go or get. Actually, that's what we're gonna we're gonna see or we're gonna study tonight, right? So, and for example, in this uh, web page, we can find some some examples so that we can uh, differentiate them. So you have the link there, and let's see. Let's, so this is grammar, get and go have similar meanings, okay? As you can see, get and go have similar meanings when talking about travel or motion. When we use get, we emphasize arrival. Get arrival. We will phone you as soon as we get to Rome. Get means? What does get mean, people? Get means arrival. Now, you don't say, hey, we'll phone you as soon as we go to Rome. No, this is impossible. But you, you use the expression get or the verb get. The thing is, he means the bus and God. What is the bus of get? Got. What is the past participle? Gotten. Get, got, gotten. To school late and missed part of the march. You don't say and went, right? No. You say and got to school. Arrival. We also, we use get on, I, I mean get on, or get off, not go, and go off for buses, 
trains, planes, etc. When I got on the plane, got on the plane, there was somebody sitting in my seat. You don't say when I went on the plane. When I went to the plane, it's a big mistake, right? So you don't use the, the bird code there. Leon will be waiting for me when I get off the train, get off. You don't say when I go off, but you say when I get off. So I think it is very simple, right? Get up means to leave your bed in the morning. Go up means go to a higher place or position. What time do we have to get up tomorrow? Get up, leave your you leave your bed. You don't say what time do we have to go up? No, to get up. So there are some some differences. I mean, in in between them. Get and go are both used to mean become, but they combine with different adjectives, and we often use get with words like dark, light, and late. So I got late, or um, it be the day became, or got dark, etc. We use go with colors. And worse with negative with negative associations such as mad, bold, and bad. Okay, so you say he went mad, he go mad, or he went bold, or he went bad. Examples now, now we continue with, with the bird can. It's getting dark now, so be careful, getting dark. He's only 30 and he's going bold. You see the difference? We left the milk in the sun too long and it's gone, gone bad. However, with some adjectives such as old, sick, tired, and ill, we use get, get sick, get tired, get ill. He got very tired. He got very tired walking to the march in such a large crowd. Okay? So we have the, the difference there. We have difference there. Get and go. Get and go. I think we have an, an, an exercise here. Mm. Yeah, this is the exercise, and we're gonna we're gonna try to work in something here. Now, get and go, get and go. When I say, for example, I go to work by car, and Susie go by train. Go, go, or get, or go, goes, or goes, goes. What is the best option? Go, goes. So the, it's the second one. Second. So then you read like, okay, I go to work by car and so it goes by train. Good. Let's see who will the first. Go there first or get there first? Get or go. Get. I will get there first. Good. You get there first. Yes. Number three. I went to see him yesterday, or I got to see him yesterday, or I I I gone to see him yesterday. I went. I went to see him yesterday. Although the train was late, I managed to to go to get to the meeting in time.
go. To go, although the train was late, I managed to to go or to get to the meeting in time. Go or get. Go. You continue with go? Okay, no, it's get. get. Yeah, because remember that, remember that get means arrival, right? So where, where are you supposed to get? Ah, you are going to get to the meeting. So you are going to arrive to the meeting. So that's why it's get here. It wasn't easy to, to get or to get through the crowd. It wasn't easy to, to get or to get through the get. crowd. Cut. Get. Okay, so is it everybody yes. agrees it's got? Can I get? Oh, so you, you, you change your mind. Get. Yeah, you say get through. Wow, well, number six. Could you tell me how how to get or how to go to the post office? Get, get, or, get or go? Get. get to the post office, right? We had better going, it's late. Go going or get going? Get. Get going. Okay. It is going late or it is getting late. It is going late or it is getting late. Going late, late, getting late, huh? Going? Going late. Mm. It's getting, it's okay. getting late. It's yes. getting, right? You say getting late. It's getting late. Number nine. When do I to see your new baby? Get to see, go to see. Get. Get. Get to see. Go. Get to see your new baby. I couldn't, I think this is the last one, right? I couldn't get or go the car to start. Get the car to start. Get the car to start. Good. So you have the answers there, and you would notice about the way to use get in different tenses and also uh, go in different tenses, right? You have it in person here, you have it in past over here. So we say, I went to see him. Uh, I go to work. Uh, who will get the first? I went to see him, etc. right? Excellent job, good. Okay. Well, uh, I don't have the audio here. Well, uh, we're gonna get back here. Okay, and you will see the information there. Can somebody help me to read, please?
Look at the words in bolds. Can somebody help me to read? Look at the words in bolds and complete the sentences below. Uh -huh. How can I get the trade center? Mm -hmm. I am going to rent a car as soon as I get to Panama. I usually get to the office at 6 30 a.m. Now we go. How do you go to work? Mm -hmm. I am going to go to the conference center after I check in. I go home around 7 p.m. Around 7 p.m. Now, do me the favor to complete this. Just get to ask for directions or to emphasize the, the idea. Uh, oh, motion. No, it's el, el get is el arrival. Arrival, right? Arrival. Mm -hmm. And in the oh, other arrival, one? much of front A to B arrival. 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 And the arrival. second <clears throat> use go to a specific means of transportation or to emphasize the idea of um, the idea of oh and way of transportation forma de transportarse mm -hmm. o sea más en la forma que, que en la o el medio de transporte exactly right so it's it I go home around seven, I go to work, I go to the conference, etc. etc. I go by car, I go by bus, I go by foot. Okay, so it's simple. So you have more work on here. And well, I'm I I just want to try to finish with with this uh, with tonight's activity by um investigating something here okay you are gonna go through a topic by your own uh, i don't know if you have just um um noticed that some people believe that men try better than women and some other think that women try better than men Okay, so we're going to study a little bit and we're, we're going to investigate. Okay, so vamos a investigar algo. Vamos a ver, hay, hay alguna, alguna, hay alguna pregunta que frecuentemente se hacen las personas. ¿Quiénes manejan mejor? ¿Las damas o los caballeros? Estoy hablando de vehículo, ¿verdad? Entonces, vamos a hacer algo. Ustedes van a defender su punto de vista si ustedes... Um, si es varón, eso nos dice, eso nos dice por qué usted considera que los caballeros manejan mejor que las mujeres y viceversa. ¿Ok? Vamos a aprender vocabulario, ¿ok? Y si podemos utilizar lo que ya hemos venido ocupando, pues muy bien. Eso está bien. Lo podemos incluir ahí. Acá dice que creemos una conversación, pero hemos estado viendo muchas conversaciones en esta noche. Vimos como tres conversaciones. Entonces, no, vamos a abordarlo de un poquito de una man manera diferente. ¿okay? Van a investigar vocabulario siempre relacionado al transporte. ¿okay? Pueden ocupar expresiones con get o con go. Uh, y al mismo tiempo, pues, este... Tomar una posición en inglés, ¿verdad? De qué, de qué es lo que piensan ustedes respecto a, al manejo de vehículos. ¿Ok? So, let us spend like, yeah, it would be like five minutes. Five minutes for you to get ready. Five to seven minutes. Sí, de cinco a siete minutos para que investiguen y que nos digan por qué. Que nos den su punto de vista. Ok, here we go. Five Five to seven minutes. Go and investigate it, please.
Okay, did you finish? <clears throat> did you investigate info about the topic? Who's better when driving? Gentlemen or ladies? Not ready yet? No one's ready? Hello people, are you there? Yes, it, yeah, but you, you scared me. Oh. I thought anybody was here. <laughs> One minute, please. Oh, okay, so you need some more time. Yes. Okay, Michael, be ready because I know that you want to participate. A little, a little. Okay, so everybody be ready, okay? Time to speak. Who is starting to share? The men or the women? Lady or gentlemen, that's what we're going to discover, right? I don't know actually. It's because I have I have known ladies who are really good um at yeah. driving. And there are men like me that cannot drive. I mean I can drive, but I'm not that good at driving. Okay, you said one minute, right? So if you if you're ready, just let us know about what you got because time is running. Hey, just wanna I just wanna listen to a couple of reactions. Then we're gonna try to finish by working in the platform because that's you know tomorrow we are ending the 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 course basic English uh, level three and everything needs to be uh, done, especially the info in the platform. No sé si todos están ya este culminando lo de la semana porque esta semana cuatro ya este ya mañana terminamos y este hay que tratar en la medida de lo posible completar todos los ejercicios de, de la plataforma ok Okay, is anybody ready to share info? Michael, Bernice, Aidan, Merlin, Edgar, Aníbal, Norma, Gladys. Okay, Bernice wants to participate. Here we go. Well, I see one five and he said that the according to story and statistics, the woman behind us, the world, uh, are better in many aspects, but the accidents are caused by men, and the exact percentage of the fatalities <coughs> is men. And 
they pay more attention to traffic sense and I have better perception because they have a sense of responsibility. I think the woman is better. Ah, okay. So Berenice is defending ladies, right? Yeah. And she says that uh, the majority of accidents are caused because of the responsibility of men. Oh, man, yeah. Good point. Okay. What can you say about it? Men. Only the parrot. I hear I hear a parrot. So how are you going to defend about about that? About what Veredice said? Nobody can say nothing. <laughs> <laughs> no words. We are finished. The so woman finished. <laughs> the woman, the women won. No, hey, hey, guys, what happened to you? The women, please. Uh, Michael. The women, please. No, we okay. So Berenice already already participated, and she said that men are the guilty ones to create like, or to provoke like accidents, accidents nowadays. Uh -huh. So what are you going to say? Or what are you going to tell uh, Berenice about it? Berenice is right. Women drive better. <laughs> yeah, you know that. <laughs> so you agree, Dania. <laughs> Despite the fact that there are multiple factors to determine who of the two genders is the better driver, the data is what it is. And according to the DGT, 60.3% of women have never received in administration sanction related to driving, while 69.95% of men how uh, and you know why daniel if you if you investigate <laughs> if you investigate deeply about it you are going to encounter a, a reason there <laughs> uh -huh. pero pero si se investiga un poquito más daniel se va a dar cuenta por qué hay más más eh, como se dice More information. Men, men driver, more yes. than <laughs> women <Yeah>. driver. <laughs> no, the other thing is they like the PSP. Okay. So, hey, you see, the topic is really nice, okay? You know, this is the, you're going to be like facing this kind of activities in, in, in intermediate, okay? Like to be like discussing. You're going to be given, uh, tell me, Fernando. <laughs> and with me, uh, according to Insure, in Perkins, women is our responsible for 15, 53% <laughs> of the shares <laughs> to Insure's campaign, must responsibly uh, for change or breakdowns will men generate this great technical accident rate. Science, the import of the accident is there, while the that uh, is made of the bed. Her notable difference is driven be general, the response to age and disease do okay. Okay, so we have a, another version there. Fernando yes. got like, like the response to Veronica, right? <laughs> okay, so now we have two, two, two and different. <laughs> yeah, there's there should be a balance, right? Because Veronica <laughs> was, you know, she she affirmed that men are the guilty ones, right? Yeah. 
to provoke okay. some accidents. And actually, well, uh, that would be a topic. I, I chose it. I chose it just just to know for you to notice that in uh, in some other levels you're gonna be given some topics to create or to debate. Okay. Más adelante se van a ir encontrando que los los niveles van a ir uh, requiriendo de su de, de, de que investiguen más y que, que tomen postura acerca de ciertos temas, ¿verdad? Porque ese tema, pues yo lo traje al grupo pensando en que algún momento pues van a ir llegando a intermedio y ya se van a ir enfrentando a, a otro tipo de, de, de ejercicios, otro tipo de actividades en donde se les va a pedir que ustedes sean como más protagonistas en las sesiones. ¿Ok? Entonces, como vamos encaminado a, ese, a esos momentos, quiero que ustedes pues también vayan pensando en, en, en ser como más uh, curiosos, curiosos, ¿ok? En, en ciertos temas. En, eh, lo más importante es que busquen, que aprendan vocabulario y que pues aprendan a, a expresiones de cómo dar su punto de vista. Por ejemplo, en inglés, sé que ahorita estamos en básico, pero sin embargo pues ya tenemos algunos resultados. Miren, ahí tenemos como a tres, cuatro personas que ya reaccionan a este tipo de actividades. Entonces, pues lo ideal sería de que cuando lleguen a intermedio ya ustedes tengan esa claridad de que poco a poco se les va a ir demandando más. Si ustedes se recuerdan en básico, pues era el teacher que repetía y ustedes, ustedes repetían y de ahí hacíamos otro ejercicio y ahora si ustedes se dan cuenta cada vez más se les está solicitando de su participación de que ya creen un pensamiento un poquito crítico de cómo, posta, cómo poner o cómo exponer su, su punto de vista ok, y estamos en básico así que vamos por buen camino Um, voy a pasar lista y por favorcito los que no han terminado actividades de plataforma si lo pueden uh, terminar ahora estaría muy bien así ya mañana yo ya tengo resultados generales de todo lo que se ha hecho durante las cuatro semanas así que paso lista y ustedes por favor me ayudan a, a verificar sus avances en la plataforma Eira. Present teacher. Ok, Belén. Daniel. Present teacher. Edgar. Gladys. Jonathan. José Daniel. Present teacher. Juan Fernando. Present teacher. María Elba. Mario Cristóbal. Berenice. Merlin. Present teacher. Michael. Present. Ok, Aníbal. Present, teacher. Xiomara. Roland. Teresa. Vera Liz. And Johnson. So I don't know if you are if you are missing something in the platform, give me the favor to finish it. I will check it tomorrow and of course the day after tomorrow in order to send the information to 
to the people in church of, of um, creating the diplomas, right? So also tomorrow, I think we're gonna have the 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 survey on the way we have been working the, during this discourse. So be ready for tomorrow and try to do your best. So the topic for to finish is the following. Give me a second. That's about business travel. Okay, business travel. So uh, everybody be ready. Todos, por favor, se preparan con uh, una pequeña participación en donde nos expliquen cómo debemos prepararnos para un viaje de negocios. Business travel. Okay. Todos listos con ese tema el día de mañana. Cómo prepararnos, qué llevar, qué no llevar, eh, cómo actuar con las personas con las que nos vamos a, a encontrar, etc. Everything that you consider is important, bring it to the class, okay? So I wonder if you have any question, any doubt, any comment? No, any question. Okay, so... What about the rest? No, teacher, any question? No questions at all. Okay, so let us let us see tomorrow. And I hope that you can rest a lot. And so I hope tomorrow you are gonna have a great day. Not a complicated one, but uh <laughs> <laughs> But a, a day in which you are going to enjoy it a lot. No importa si hay días difíciles, días no tan difíciles. Así es la vida, pero eh, yo le decía a alguien por ahí que cuando hay días difíciles son, también son buenos porque nos hacen más fuertes. Así que um, espero que todo les salga bien el día de mañana y nos encontramos pronto. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. God bless you.